Hi everyone, I'm Yair with Fun of DC, and today we're going to talk about some recent updates. They were published on Wednesday, January 26th, and cover quite a few topics in both game uh, manuals. We'll talk about the updated amount of cargo in remote events, limits on the amount of league terminates per team, competing with our robot, change concerning awards in smaller re regions, and finally, instructions on how to submit the control world. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, supported by Striker Careers. If you're a college student or recent graduate looking for an incredible internship, take a look at Striker. Striker provides a housing stipend, great pay, and an opportunity to work with state-of-the-art medical technology equipment. Discover why so many first alumni are coming to Striker for their internship or career at careers.stryker.com. Let's start with a very important update to Game Manuel 2, and that concerns remote events. From now on, a remote event no longer has 20 pieces of freight. From now on, it will have 10. This brings them up to par with the traditional events, which have 10 cargo pieces in each warehouse. And while teams can collect cargo from the opposing alliance's warehouse, that's pretty uncommon, as we've seen so far. As COVID restrictions ease, many more regions are looking into uh, in-person competitions, but this really is something to keep in mind if you're remote competing remotely this season and you've got cargo as one of your main strategies. So now uh, let's move on to some updates from Game Manual on. These were updated in both Game Manuals, both in person and remote, and might be relevant to your team. So our first update here is relevant to regions that compete in leagues. From now on, teams cannot participate in more than one league or one league tournament per season. So it's something to keep in mind when playing out the rest of the season. Make sure to follow updates and instructions from your program delivery partner for specific details. Let's move on to another update. Teams are now eligible for judges interviews and even awards, even when competing without a robot. This means that if, for example, you have a serious issue with your robot preventing you from competing, you can attend the event and still only go to the interviews. You'll still be eligible for awards, this might be a good option for teams that couldn't meet to build the robot due to COVID or for teams that have something else going on with their robot that prevent them from competing with it. COVID has been causing some PDPs to split competitions in order to prevent large gatherings. If this is happening in your region, take note of this next update. Competitions with 21 teams or less may choose not to pick a third place or second runner up, as it's known in some regions, for most awards. This means that from now on, event organizers can choose to only announce first and second places for their awards. However, the rule is not binding. Event organizers can choose if they want to announce a third place or not. And one last update, the control award is now submitted with your engineering portfolio rather than the notebook. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and good luck at competitions. Thanks to Stryker Careers for their support in this video. First alumni and mentors are making Stryker a top priority for their internships and careers. That's because Stryker knows that those in first are the leaders and innovators of tomorrow. If you want to help make the world a better place by creating life-saving medical devices and technology, get started at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.